Well, up until now, I've been saying uh, I'm, I'm a bison ranger without the bison. Now we're starting to see um, that change with the, the bison arriving, and it's fantastic to be able to say that these are the first bison in the UK for bringing back wildlife and using them as a way to stimulate the, the, uh, the environment. The European bison is the uh, largest um, terrestrial uh, um, mammal in Europe. You know, they're big, powerful animals, but they're also very sort of gentle and docile, actually. In terms of what the bison are, are going to imitate or um, replicate is the sort of the ancient aurochs and wild cattle that we would have had here. So it's really exciting that, uh, yeah, the, the bison that we're going to be getting are going to be doing this job that's been lost for, for millennia, really. From start to finish, they're helping other, you know, other species. So they they fulfil uh, sort of uh, niche, uh, ecological niches and, and they engineer the site around them. They'll debark trees, um, which is fantastic because that creates lovely standing deadwood, which is great for invertebrates, bats, woodpeckers, um, so many different other species. And they kill these trees off slowly, which is a natural process that we find in woods. They also, because of their physique, they'll go into areas of the site which are quite dark and dense and and really sort of thick with um, vegetation, and they'll punch through. Them and they start to create light filtering down to the ground and that gives less um, competitive plants uh, a bit of a boost and an opportunity to come through and then they uh, they dust base that's when they roll around on the ground and that's to get rid of parasites and creates lovely um, open areas of uh, bare ground which again is great for insects There's something a bit poetic about the fact that the bison will be yeah uh, released into the soft release area on on the hottest day of the year because that's one of the reasons why the bison have been brought in. We can't do everything. We sometimes need to be a little bit less controlling and allow nature to sort of take a lead on the, the issues that we're seeing, you know, with the biodiversity and climate um, crises. I'm really positive that they are going to do a fantastic job and um, we're going to see a much richer and uh, alive uh, West Bleen in the very uh, near future. <laughs>